Um, since our meeting last week, I've done a little uh, side work with a specific resident that's trying to uh, build something, and it's uh, 595 Ocean Boulevard. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a statement to the board, yeah. and then I'm going to follow that by a motion, if that's okay with you. Um, the residents of North Beach area whom I spoke with seem to be in agreement that Mr. Flynn's project at 595 Ocean is long overdue. As a selectman for the local taxpayer, I am in agreement. Currently, the land owned by Conservation Commission is vacant, neglected, and non-taxable. The law, as discussed last week, does not allow the town to sell or lease land owned by Conservation. Clearly, the selectmen have no authority here. Last week, the board was concerned with additional fill added to the wetlands. If Mr. Flynn is allowed use of the conservation-owned parcel for entrance to his on-site parking, which would be underneath the building he would put up, he will donate the unbuildable portion of 597 Ocean, directly north of the property, to the Conservation Commission, removing the existing fill and simply transferring the existing fill to 595 Ocean as needed. It's a larger space at 597, so the fill he removes he wouldn't need as much of it to put in that one strip of land <coughs> that is conservation that he just wants to drive on to get into his parking. Mr. Flynn, um, also since last week, Mr. Flynn has set up a meeting with the town's building inspector, Kevin Schultz, which will take place next Wednesday, I believe. He has also hired and contracted with Ambit Engineering of Portsmouth for the site work and to file all local and state permits as a necessary deemed by the town and the Conservation Commission. Um, Mr. Flynn's project will be an asset to both the residents of North Beach and the community as a whole. So I would move to make the motion that the Board of Selectmen allow Mr. Flynn to use conservation-owned land to access his 595 on-site parking. Mr. Flynn, in return for this use, will donate the unbuildable portion of the land, per the building inspector, of 597 Ocean Boulevard to Hampton Conservation Commission a parcel that is larger than the existing parcel Mr. Flynn wishes to have access to. Existing fill will be transferred or removed, and he'll get new fill, however you want to look at it, from 597 to be used as needed to 595 Ocean Boulevard. That's the motion. Okay. I, I will actually second that for discussion. So we have discussion. I don't know why we're getting involved in why, this. Why do we... My my discussion is: Do we even have the authority to do that? Mr. Yeah, Manager? I don't think so. I agree. Without an act of the legislature, you don't mm -hmm. legally. That doesn't stop the town from asking the legislature for an act. But I think you're going to have to get the act from the legislature in order to be. But I don't want to do is I don't want to do something that we've been told is in violation of the statute. Yeah. Allow something to happen and then have somebody come in and say, no, no, you shouldn't do that. Tear it all out. Yeah. I don't you know, want that to happen. In the past, people donate this land. Oh, there's condominiums coming down all in this area. Yeah. Uh, you know, Little Jackstone's halfway across the marsh. Uh, you know, and if they want to donate it, they donate it. I don't see why we're getting involved in it. This is something that I've Because this seen. is something that since we made our decision last week, I've had a lot of people that are unhappy about the decision that we well, made. Well, you know, the thing is, we, we didn't have any part of it. We didn't do anything. Whatever happened there this week happened without anything to do with the Board of Selectmen. With whatever Kevin Schultz did, whatever. <coughs> it's just, this is something I've never seen uh, the Board get involved in something like this, and I'm not for it. Well, I made my motion because that's the way I feel, so it can go unheard, but I get to say how I feel, so. Well, I think, you know, and that's why I brought it up for discussion, because I want to hear the discussion on this. I want to hear what people have to say. Mary Louise, you? I'm not going to counter conservation's authority. I agree with the conservation. I'm not going to counter conservation. And no one's against it, but you know what? If we, you know, I'm not against uh, Mr. Flynn's rights, but, uh, you know, if we're going to start this conversation, then I would like to make a motion about uh, what happened to Norm Bollier down at the Kentville this week. You know, so we could do this every time that there's a issue that comes up. You know, there was a, a very well, it was a very controversial issue that his uh, 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 condo project was voted down when he has buildings that are <coughs> higher on each side of them. Um, and I'm not. I understand how it works. It's the process, 
but a lot of people don't think that's fair. A lot of people aren't happy with a lot of what's going on, um, and I don't see how we can get involved with it. They'll, these different boards, uh, whether it's the Conservation Commission, whether it's the Planning Board, whether it's the board, uh, Zoning Board. To call uh, that land conservation land, I'll tell you right now, is comical. If you go down and look yeah. at it, it's comical. Well, and it's sitting there untaxable when it could actually be used for something that will benefit the community. Well, that's, uh, it, like Mr. F uh, Walsh says, that's what the law is, and we can't just be changing it ourselves. You know, in the well, we did before. The law, the law has changed a lot since. It wasn't in the conservation commission before. That it wasn't in conservation, and the law has changed a lot that since, since that area, since that was changed. You know, Mr. Flynn brought up the fact that some of that area on both sides of him was filled. Some of that was filled in the 1950s. Some of it was filled in the early 80s. You're talking 30 years ago where our laws have changed, and that that's the problem Mr. Flynn has right now. It was you know, different. It was I made, I'm the one that made the motion to do it before. It wasn't owned by the Conservation Commission then, when uh, when we rented it to Lupos. So. It became, became part of the Conservation Commission when it was taken for lack of taxes, I believe. I believe that was... That, that was, whole area is going to flood. Nah, well, that's, that's beside the point, and that's not necessarily yeah. true either. Uh, and we could go on and on and on. We could say by people putting condominiums, they're making it worse. But, you know... That we can't get involved in everything, right? I, I just think the, the proper way to do this is to we actually have to go to the to the legislature and ask them. I think that's there's a remedy. Th there is a remedy, and I think that's the proper way to do that. So um, I feel bad for Mr. Flynn. You know, he has a, has a piece of property there, but our hands are basically tied. We can't we can't do it unless we get the authority from the legislature with a special exemption. And that's that's the sad case of what it is. So we, I, we have a motion. All those in favor of Regina's motion. All those opposed. Four to one. So. Oh, thanks okay. for having me.